Hello everybody and welcome in this full overview video of the Future House Ultimate Sample Pack by Hybrid Sounds. Let's say that we just downloaded it from hybridsource.com and we're going to extract it. You can use any zip or also the tool of Windows all extract here. We're gonna wait that it's being unzipped and we go back to FL Studio when it has finished. Done. In FL Studio, you'll have to do audio settings and to actually go to file and to browse your file like this. It appears here and we got seven folders here. Drums, FXs, project files, serum and sandwich presets, scene shots and also vocal shots. So I'm gonna go step by step first with drums. Here we go. In drums we have uh, a lot of folders, we have uh, like around 9 folders, okay? And so uh, we got first claps with some clap loops actually, that's very basic but very powerful, we're gonna see. You can just drag and drop and it has been already tempo sliced, that means like automatically even if your project in if it knows the tempo, it automatically uh, adapts to your tempo of your projects, because the tempo is embedded in the file here. Still better in the original tempo, of course. So we got tons of samples here. Now I'm gonna go to the clap shots. They are very punchy, that's why uh, they are in the future house pack because other club it may be pop or more like some softer. Here is a very punchy, 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 lots of transients. There you go. Now we got also symbols with four different folders uh, hi hats, crashes, and the rights. Here we go. By the way, this best hat has been used in all my music projects. It's just simply amazing. It fits in any genre. It's super powerful. Then we got the fills. Uh, that's the third folder, but uh, honestly, that's not the, the the compilation of sounds I'm the most proud of. Like those fills are not super good. To be very honest with you, there's only a few that you're gonna really use. So yeah, these are not all powerful, but there's still some very good ones, like uh, this one that is very, uh, very brooksy. Yeah, yeah, I love this one. Now we go to the follies. That's very basic stuff. We also have very good kicks. This one that are very powerful, like the fit in all your future house uh, tracks, it's just literally insane. So here you go. And also you can layer this top kick with other kicks. For example, we have this two cut off kick, that means that you have to cut off it and to layer it with another one. It does this, that's pretty nice, honestly. I use this in my Give Me Love template and also in the Missing You templates, both from Mesto. Then I'm gonna go to the loops. So there's a few affixes loops uh, that I uh, put here, but also a few perks loop like this.
also like those samples are already fitted to the 128 tempo you just have to control B there's no like slice to do and stuff everything is clean then we got the perks so there are a few um, like a few things like this that I added in the perks I, there is a bit like feels or stuff like this I experiment a bit. My favorite perk is probably this one. That is from Misto. I already put it like a fill. Like it's super effective. Now I've got snaps. This one is from Brooks. I always added a kind of you know, you can see here a bit of bit of bass actually in stop to make it like yeah more realistic and more body to it. Then we got a few snares, so very used classic snares that everybody has here. Also those very good snares and then spread up snares. I love them, they are very powerful and give very uh, a very cool energy to your pre-drop. So then we got a few tums that are key labeled. So here we go for the drums, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the little effects that we have here, sorry. So here we got basic down lifters. Crowd. Already say chain. Uh, here side chain on already processed. We can see here I cut at the height. Already uh, processed the lifters. Then we got a few random effects like hand answers that actually make your drop more powerful. For example, this one can be set just before a kick or a big chord. Uh, with a cake, like it's very useful. This one is a very big uh, Brooks uh, thing, like you know, at the end of your drop, with more reverb, super powerful. Oh, this one, I love it. I use it a lot in my in my daddy track. Uh, I'm gonna make you listen to it. I think it's on Spotify actually. High breath, daddy, yeah. I hope you just hear it here. This one is like very glitchy and I use it everywhere. Here we got a very nice and perfect uh, drop enhancer. Like the, the kind of bass that we can see here on the middle is like, it's just perfect. Okay, now we're done with the answers and downlifters, we're gonna go to the random stuff that I maybe don't own. Uh, I own those ones, but some of the ones are sampled or... Like for example, we have this flute here. That has been sampled um, by Mesto to make... Uh, I think it's... Uh, I don't remember actually, uh, let's see where, which one is it. Uh, that's gonna get enough, yeah. He uses it and can't get enough. So we got basic clap loop, a bell, a flute are recorded. Very classic one. This one is very asked by everyone in my community, like, hey, can you give me the preset? But that's actually a sample. That's a this sample from Retrovision. Now I love the step stop that I use also in other tracks I've made. Hey. Those are retrovision fills, I sampled from his songs. A few vocals here.
Then we're gonna go to a few shakers. Very basic. Razor. Razor, so. Also, what is very cool with those uplifters and uplifters is that they are already stacked. Like, I already take lots of sounds, silence one sound, serum sound, and I layered them a lot to make something very solid and you don't have to layer a ton of stuff and samples to break your CPU. Like, already processed a lot and uh, stacked a lot. I'm gonna test this one. Like, yeah, it totally fits to the bore. Okay, then we'll go to the project files. Ah, I'm not gonna open them because it takes a very long time to, to do, but you can see actually that um, all has been exported. That means like, if you wanna, uh, that's your FLP, uh, it can be actually opened by other people. You have to do those two buttons here, okay? And I did this, and you can see all the stuff here. So you won't miss any sample, any presets, all will be already uh, already put here and if you have any questions about how do we open those you can ask me on Instagram that's just high breath on email that's high breath prod or breath gmail.com but also on discord that's high breath uh, 9212 so yeah also on my website you can find those uh, contact here so I'm gonna go to the presets now a few certain presets actually and um, here we go For example, we have this very cool bass here. Another one. Ooh, very heavy. Love this one. This one is a very top layer actually to make your bass hearable on phones and stuff like this. We also got a very nice retrovision basses, that's my favorite. Oopsie doopsie. That's a cause. So don't forget to process your bases. Like uh, this one, clearly have to to be uh, EQ like this with an external EQ on your FX chain. Yeah, that's better like this, you know. But when you just let a bit of bass and mid range here, it gives something very more powerful and full also. So this was the first hundred presets. Then we got a uh, hundred. Another hundred uh, presets for serum or so. So now we got the leads.
So very shiny sounds here and we also got a few wavetables that you can use. I set them here because some of my presets use external wavetables that you have to actually have to be able to load the presets because if you don't you're gonna have an error like uh, missing wavetable. So here we go and I'm gonna go to the silence one presets. Honestly Serum or silence one uh, both are very good in uh, future house. But Silence One is better for sounds that have, that actually have a good sustain. Sustain, like I'm gonna show you. For example, this kind of bass. Silence One is better for some very continuous sound, whereas Serum is better for the shots. I really think that's one particularity of each synth uh, that we got here. You can see that, yeah, the sustain uh, presets are better than the plucky ones. We also have those two presets, uh, I think that this one and this one I showed in a tutorial. It can be used for retrovision calls. A few plugs or so. So this kind of sounds can be layered with other sounds, for example, uh, leads. Uh, that's very useful. It's just white noise, and with this kind of envelope, uh, as we have here, very nice. So I'm gonna list all of them, but we have really good ones. You won't feel any missing preset, like everything is in it, and also they can be used in other genres. Like you don't have, if you want a very powerful uh, new EDM sample pack, this one is also for you, it's not only Future House, but it has a lot, a lot, a lot of signature and very used Future House sounds. For example, this very uh, nice uh, retrovision or hexagon style lead. I love those four plugs that are actually here. The final ones are just my favorite preset actually of the pack. And so we have a final surprise that I let you get with the sample pack. Now, uh, yeah, I still forgot. We have more than 100, but we have 200 presets for Silence One. We have also the 50 plugs. Like this one, it can be very used in very like original purposes. With a nice compressor, it can sound very powerful. Like this full cr crispy plugs and hot and mistle plugs uh, will totally um, satisfy you about plugs. Eh? When you're gonna produce, you're gonna think, oh, I want plug. And you're gonna get plugs here, and you got any plug sounds that actually exist with Silence One. 
So we also got uh, 50 additional leads that makes uh, in total is a 200 leads uh, presets. Sorry for second one. Love also sounds are very good. And we also have a bonus telephone sound that can be used with chords. So I'm gonna test the notes. Yeah, when you maintain three uh, notes, actually, it gives this very nice sound. At a good moment, it sounds very good. But that's still a bonus percent for you. Then we got a few synth shots that is leads. Uh, plugs, bass, and also included my xylophone sample pack. Uh, so I'm gonna play all those shots, and I'm gonna shut my shut my mouth. Here you go. Finally, the final follower is uh, the vocal shots. We have like uh, 75 per sample, sorry. Here you go. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this full review. Uh, like sometimes people say, well, but I don't know if the pack is actually worth. Now you know if it's for you worth or not. Uh, there are more like uh, about uh, yeah, seven hundred samples and presets with also bonus product files that include uh, bonus samples. You can see it here, like uh, your bonus samples here included. So yeah, I honestly think my pack is very worth uh, compared to what other people can do with a very higher price. Uh, I think that sometimes I'm gonna make a few uh, flash sales with minus 50% off uh, on the full pack. And also I want to announce that with uh, Seku, that is a uh, producer, maybe his name's gonna change, I don't know, that Seku and me are making four sample packs so it's just gonna be insane. Uh, it will be included in a full bundle and like it's just amazing how working together with people um, can be very cool. So I say thank you for having watching this uh, kind of uh, full review video uh, until here and I say goodbye.